Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Airsoft Al, and today we are doing another unboxing video, uh, unboxing video, hold on, let me actually quickly minimize this, because this is going to get on my nerves as much as possible, I actually got other things open, and this package is of course from Apex, he said this is going to be something interesting for me, something that probably pissed me off, knowing him he's right, so, let's actually open it up, shall we? Now, as to whether or not this will piss me off is the general question. I'm trying to make sure you don't see my address, because I really don't want you guys to see my address or where I live. Why? Because I don't want to shoot people. Legitimately, in my area, we can shoot trespassers. Ah, gotta live living in the south. Okay, so. That's nice opened up. Alright, let's go ahead. Pull this out, and what the hell? Anything in here? Yep, there's there's some paperwork in there. I've got to pull out. Okay, then set that off to the side. We don't need you to see that. What is this? This is a $5 off unlimited wear saving. Of course it is. You know what? What was the total on this? little bad boy and it's not saying okay so it's not saying the actual total on anyway so throw it off to the side and looking at this just get it over with this is the m39 or as you may better well know it the robocop gun now to my knowledge the robocop gun was in fact a beretta to my knowledge again if I remember correctly, what the hell? Oh, of course, there's tape keeping me from opening the horrible piece of shit that's probably going to be in here. And of course, it's in plastic. That's a first, a Ziploc bag with information. It says it has a hop-up version. It's a hop-up? There's a hop-up? What? 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 I know I'm saying what a lot, but... What? And so far, I'm actually somewhat impressed. No, you, you did not unhear that. You did not hear things. You heard me correctly. I said I'm somewhat impressed. Now, here's your standard point twelve six 6mm BBs. And I actually do like, they actually do give you a cute little thing. And choking hazard, not for children under three. No shit. Uh, we have a baggie of knickknacks. Stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. A laser. Sorts. Does it work? No, it does not. I gotta put batteries in there. Apparently. It's bullshit. Or hold on. Is there batteries in there already? No, there's not. I actually got to put batteries in there. It's bullshit. But it is a pretty decent laser. It's not like a cheap plastic laser. It's like... Like those Walmart lasers you get. Like, that's what I'm getting from it. That's actually not bad at all. I might actually open this up to actually put it all together. But, moving on from there... Moving on from there, we have a battery for the sights. For the red dot sight. Which is... I want to say okay. Okay, so it does have adjustable sights. It's actually kind of cool, in my opinion. Is that an on? Yeah, there's an off. There's... Okay. It's actually kind of cool. It's actually... I want to open her up, but I don't want to at the same time. I want to wait a bit. And then come with a gun to the... Okay. Limpy as hell. Is this a fully... No, it's not fully ambidextrous mag release. That's, that's what it fooled with... It's actually somewhat... Oh, they actually got the Ruger symbol on there. That's cute. Oh, that's cute. That is absolutely cute. How are they not being sued? For real, how the hell are they not being sued? Can I take this off? That's my question. Can I take this off? Can I legit take this off? A little bit of... This and that. Here and there. And there's the button to take that off. Okay. Okay, so I can take this off. This gaudy thing. It's actually... Yeah, that's just... I'm not gonna lie, the fact that it replicates a Ruger pistol is not too bad, but to 
my... I thought the Robocop pistol was a Beretta. That's what I thought anyway, but apparently not. And of course there is no extension on the barrel itself. That's sad about this. It's just... Not just that, but Jesus Christ, that's a huge... This is just big. Like, this is just legitimately big in general. And this is just off-balance a bit. Or off-putting, I mean. Yeah. Okay, so with that out of the way... Okay, we are here now at the POV. My cat is visiting us because, of course, my cat wants to visit me. Say hi, Isis. Say hello to the people, Isis. Can you say hello? Can you say hello? Okay. No, okay, just go away. And yes, I've cleaned up my room finally, your dismay. I, I finally cleaned up my room a bit. So, Isis, I need you to go away. I'm playing with a knife. I'm playing with knives. So, this package came in a very weird way, which is new to me. And this should be inter interessante. Very interessante. Okay, let me just go ahead. I've got it open like this. And then... I know I'm being a little dangerous cutting towards myself, but I am a professional. I am very much of a professional, I can assure you. Alright, well, that open now. We can just basically slip on in here, and yeah. There's a thing. Let us... Let us do, do this, okay? Anything else in there? else no okay we throw this off over here for my cat to play with and this is quite heavy actually holy shit um this is the type 97 springer and that is badass by all meaning is that an actual stand oh my god that's an actual stand or a target i don't know okay so long range rifle Effective up to 120 feet or more, which means it's got a hop-up system. The SR-1, the Crossfire RC-1! Assault rifle, full, full easy airsoft, uh, whatever, airsoft rifle, I don't care. But what I really like is the fact of... It's a Type 97! Oh, and it comes with a speed loader, which is very nice. I'm actually gonna keep the box art. Like, I'm gonna try my best not to destroy the box art, because the box art is actually really, really nice. I like this box art, and I like this Marine here. This, this has gotta be a Space Marine. Yeah, that's a space marine. He's got a he's got a thing with a 1911, I think, in his holster. I don't know. Either way, though. <clears throat> All right, so 120 high accuracy BBs include point twos. Hello, hello, kitty. Up to 320 FPS. We will determine that. Adjustable hop-up system and quick magazine loader included. I swear to God, if the magazine is a high ca yeah, there are some point twelve point twos in there. There's a slang. There's a manual, which I rather like. Um, I'm actually going to attempt to open this up without damaging the box art, because... I, I mean, look at this box art! Look at the box art! Look at this! This is wicked box art! I don't want to damage this box art. I really don't. So we're not going to... So we are going to attempt not to damage the box art. Let's open it up. Okay, now that we actually got open, this, I'm happy to say, is a very competently built Springer. Like, I'm not even joking. Yeah, that's a metal outer barrel, by the way. Is that threading in there, I wonder? And I wouldn't be surprised if there was threading in this, because the way this is feeling like, it feels like there is threading. Now, the barrel itself, I'm looking at it now, it looks like it's actually here. So, it's a small inner barrel. Now, with the way the screws are placed, and there being a hop-up system... Which I'm very impressed. That's a stiff hop-up, by the way. That's that's legitimately stiff. But the magazine itself, it's an AK style. The way you load it. And I can automatically see the trigger here, which just flip it to fire, which you do get a very audible click. Yeah, that's the trigger right there. But what I love about this is it's just all competently built. There's a little Picatinny rail here, but you're going to need a specialized rail to actually mount any optics you want. The iron sight itself is not that great, honestly. Like, it's a small peephole, but then again, that's actually competent for the real steel. But the charging handle is what I like, because it's, it's literally able to be flipped over to the right. No ambi, sad to say. So, for you left-handed shooters, this is for you. And, yes, the action is right there on your ear, but it's... It's a competent, like, this is solid plastic. This is, like, good ABS plastic. This is not a piece of shit. It's definitely, I'm definitely saying it's worth the $50 price tag it's asking. 
Now, as for the actual FPS, we're going to have to find that out. So, let's go ahead, grab some point twos here, and grab the speed loader included. Load it up with a couple here. There we go. Now, before I go any further, there is uh, an instruction book that does come with this, which I find rather cool. Again, I, I, I know I'm saying cool a lot, but I got to say it. This is a cool Springer. This is the first time I've ever seen this gun. Crossfire, you're on my list of companies I like. So, yeah, we're actually going to we're actually probably going to field this uh, in the upcoming game. That's how cool it is. Now, let's just go ahead and load it up real quick. There we go. And it does come with a sling, which I'm going to go ahead and say the sling is... Yeah, I would not use the sling. I would not use this sling with this gun. I'm not even. But we are going to load it up with a couple shots. Yeah, if you've never used a bullpup before, it's going to take you a bit to actually uh, get used to it. Ooh, that actually felt really nice. Like a nice beefy thing. All right, so let's just go ahead and turn on the chronograph. See what FPS we're actually getting out of this. With the short barrel length, I mean. 193. Now, I am using point twos, but mind you, so it's just how it is. Okay. 226. Okay. I'm going to have to do it like this. That way I can actually get... A better grip on it which that foregrip right here that's actually a really nice foregrip i do like that which then again definitely has a p90 feel to it i definitely do like that 217 215 that's actually a really beefy sprint that's beefy that's that's just ah i can't get over it and I can actually mechanically hear the trigger system. 218. 220. 212. 218. 216. Do like this now. Two sixteen. Two fifteen. Last one. Two seventeen. So, yeah, it's not getting the FPS it was saying it was getting, which was what? what was the FPS originally saying it was going to get? Going to get originally three twenty? No, not with. Uh, wondering what BBs they were using, but no, this is definitely not getting that FPS. However, I bet you with a spring upgrade, it probably could get that FPS. But I'm gonna say this now. This is a good competent Springer. I'm actually going to leave a link down below uh, to this particular gun and let you guys get your own and let me know what you guys think of it. But this is just, I mean, if you're not willing to spend $500 on AEG, this is probably the next best option. And it's just, uh, you have to be, you have to get one yourself just to, just to understand what I'm okay, feeling here, guys. Final package, the third package. Now, there may have been a discrepancy in the video, I know, but I filmed these as they came in and saved them up for one large unboxing video. So yeah, let me know in the comments section what you think of this video style and uh, if you like it or not. Also, my cat has joined us because she liked, for some reason, cats love cardboard and she's curious as all my what's inside of it. Kitten, I'm going to need you to go now. I'm, I'm a fat you little booty. I'm a fat you little booty. You know, I'm just going to pick you up. Right, so, knife. Let's open this. All right, now the box is un undone. Let's see what goodies Apex has sent me, or what hell he has sent me. 
some of this. Don't care. Okay, and huh, we have our packing information. So we have the Walter PPK with a silencer, the Deliverer's pistol, the James Bond gun. That is in a package that everyone and their mother absolutely fucking hates. I personally hate this packaging. A deagle. Uh, a sprayer dingle that I actually reviewed a long time ago. But I guess a pro more proper review would probably be better with mod with the now modern uh, stuff I have nowadays. Again, same packaging I hate. Ooh, what's this? What is this? What is this? The job gun. We'll be opening all these, by the way, or at least the ones in the boxes that I can open. We'll be opening all those. Uh, Springer 1911. That is made by the same company that made the, uh, other. That Springer... Yeah. Uh... Okay. A Double Eagle. L85. That every soldier right now is cringing at because, of course, they absolutely hate this thing. I understand why. We'll be opening that. Ah! A support our troops. Uh, <clears throat> wristband that I will be wearing, by the way. And a silver M16. It's a pen. Yeah, it's a pen. This is a pen. I'm actually going to open it up. Like, I'm going to open this just to... Let me move the box out of the way. So I will be opening all these on camera. I'm rather curious how this one works. Okay. L85. Let's open it. I do love how it's a fully trademarked. Like they say, this is an L85A2 series gun. I do like that. Just go ahead and pull that off. And... Wow. Okay. That, there's some electricity, by the way, there's some static in there, and we got batteries, my guess is the batteries are for the light, more batteries, once again for the light, pack a .12 BBs, and a very small Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, with that we have a carry handle, which looks like it just slides on, okay. We have... The front sight looks like it just slides on, non-adjustable, of course. A mock ACOG. Mock being the word, but it looks like... Okay, so it's it's a light-up ACOG. It's just basic, it's an over-glorified red dot. So depending on how good of a red dot it is, we'll find out. A flashlight, which is the same one that I actually have, which is the same cheap one I have. A... Don't legal magazine, which looks like the ones that came with the Scarl, the Scarl Springer, styrofoam, of course. Might try that, and then of course the main piece de resistance, or how you hate it, the L85A2, which is actually rather big. There's the safety. It's got a pick a tinny rail here for all your foregrip needs. So let me just go ahead and pop on the front sight here. There it goes. Yeah, that's wobbly as almighty. Guess that's what the screw's for so you can tighten it up. And then of course we have the front rail here. There we go. The rail slash carrying handle. And that's just going to wobble as almighty, I bet, anyway. And it does have precision sights and the full auto sights, basically. Okay. That's going to drive me nuts. It's actually... Whew, that's actually a really good prime. Okay. Mm. That's actually got a, a heck of prime on it. Okay, so we actually fully this in now. Okay. Mag drop's not bad. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab a magazine. Over. 
Okay, so I have one of the magazines from the Scarl Springer by Cybergun. And yeah, it's compatible with it. So I have extra mags. But yeah, this is going to be rather interesting to say the least because I'm looking at this and I'm trying to think, does it just, I'm guessing it just pops on there. No hands, ifs, or buts. It just pops on, which this looks like you can remove it by just unscrewing it at the bottom to loosen it a bit, which I'm going to do real quick. Just for the hells of it. Or not. Okay. So apparently you're supposed to tighten it up. Yep, yeah, this is a cheap. This is a cheap Phillips head. It just broke. So yeah, definitely don't trust the Phillips head. That's for the gun itself. It might be good. I don't know. We're going to have to wait for the full video review on it, to be honest. All right, so setting all that to the side, set this over here for a later day. We're going to now pull over, well, not the 1911, or the mini 1911, I guess. We are pulling over the shotgun. Once again, stabby stabby. A rather nice, actually. Hello. Some nice iron sights, a decent little manual. It's actually really good. I'm actually okay with that. Let's actually uh, use my finger here just to cut along the plastic. It looks like it comes with point twos, which kind of curious. Does it have any form of instructions? No, it does not. What we do have is the full length variant, which I am very happy for. With this, you do get two shotgun shells, which are Really nice. These look like the SEMA ones, apparently, I think. Very nice iron sights, actually. Hello. Oh, yeah, these are actually really nice iron sights. Like, even though they're polymer, they're really good fiber optic sights. They are, the rear sight is, of course, adjustable for windage and variation. I do like that. Just line them up real quick, just to see what they look. They're actually really nice. Speed loader. Some bag of Either point twos or point twelves. Hold on. No, those are point twos, I think. Then again, I might be wrong. I'm gonna have to look. Going, removing this, and of course, removing this. We do get the very. Whoa, slick! Mm, Italian job gun. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually a really, really nice gun. Like, the stock is good. This is actually really nice. And, of course, you do get an unjamming rod, which I'm going to have to be putting with the other unjamming rods. But this is just nice. Also, a nice little feature, of course, if you don't like this uh, monolithic rail, uh, what you can do is actually uh, completely unscrew this and this and this here and take it off. And it has basic iron sights. But for the purpose of this video... For the unboxing, of course, and actually putting it all together, I'm going to leave a, the actual nice rail on there and just put on the fiber optics because the fiber optics came with it. And let's face it, the, also this is just me. I love this. Also, let me check real quick. Now, why I'm not looking directly under the barrel? Nope, this is what I thought. Or no, wait, hold on. Okay, so yeah, the, the try shot actually does extend out that way. That's cool. Also, you do actually get a lot of cool, little, neat little features about this gun that I actually learned, that I actually didn't know about, which is very, very nice, but uh, you have to wait for the full review. But I'm just giving you my initial impressions right now, and this is just a really, really, really awesome looking gun. I'm not going to lie. All right. Oh, those fiber optics are nice. There is a rail here, but it's a polymer rail. As to how sturdy it is, I'm not sure. The grip, it's just the pump itself is actually, oh, that's a hard, that's going to be a hard prime, but, ooh, that's just, let me see if it's got, it's got slam fire. Just... 
Oh my god, that is just evil. And what I love about it is that it's fully trademarked. Out the wazoo, it's fully trademarked. And it's just... It's an evil little gun. It really is. Oh, and the grip's great on it. Like, that rubberized grip's really nice. I'm loving the aggressive, just evil compensator right there. I'm just... It's going to it's gonna take me a while to get used to that, actually. Safety is actually somewhat easy to get to. This thing is just... I don't have the words for it. I really don't. And that's sad for me not to have the words for this amazing gun. Okay, throwing that off the side and throwing this off the side. You know what? Just as a special, I'm just going to unbox this one real quick because, honestly, it's one of those things. It really is. And you're going to watch me struggle on camera trying to open this thing. And I kind of love how they did the whole James Bond artwork there. That's actually really cute because it's like, yeah, we know this was in James Bond. We're cashing in on that fact. get a bottle of 400.12 Umarex BBs, one extra magazine, and the gun itself, which I'm going to carefully try and pull out because I want to try and free this thing from its plastic prison. manual and instructions. There we go. We'll set that off to the side to be thrown away. Behind you guys. It's very important to have paperwork. Like, Jed does a practice set. Everyone has said it. It's very important. Now, it is a... What's actually cool is that these magazines are actually high caps. It is a 15-shot reservoir, 10-shot Spring, of course, 160 with 0.12, of course. Now, we are going to actually do that in a bit, but I just kind of want to remove this big yellow tag because, honestly, I don't like that. The gun is mostly polymer. The trigger's metal. It has an actual working safety on the slide. The trigger, or the hammer, is metal, of course. That's nice. And the magazine is right there. The bottom of this one in particular is metal, but it does come with a full polymer magazine, which, in all honesty, is actually rather nice. The suppressor, of course, is fully removable. Very long. Giving you that nice little Walter PPK look. Very nice. Let me just quickly check some. Yep, it fully disengages, but... There we go. But, for my purposes, I'd actually like to keep it with, the stock mag with this style of magazine. Because, honestly, I do love that. And I love that it's fully trademarked as well. The suppressor actually does have a bit of heft to it. It's really nice. It's not a cheap suppressor. It's actually a rather nice suppressor. And of course, just because I love you guys, or just because all of you I know play Fallout, this is the Deliverer's Pistol from Fallout 4. This is the suppressed pistol that... Hey guys, well, uh, the last half, sad to say, got corrupted, and I'm not able to save it, so yay. Uh, but I want to say this now, one of the other things I got in the package was actually this. To all my Texas viewers and all my Texan friends, I can safely say that I am proudly representing my friends and families in the great Lone Star State of Texas. Damn right. But in all seriousness, though, this is one of many, many packages that are going to be coming in the future from Tony, and God only knows what he is going to be bringing down in August when he comes down in person. Uh, it's going to be one of those things. I want to thank you all for 
joining me on this huge unboxing video. Let me know if you guys like this style of video where I basically get the stuff in and just film it, then just mash it all together in this Frankenstein style video. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this video style. And as always, guys, I've been Airsoft Al, the common man's Airsofter, the defender of the. Uh, I am filming this late at night after editing the video. Uh, after I am done with this, I'll be basically producing this and uploading it the day after midnight, basically. So it'll be after midnight when this video goes up, and it's like 11 o'clock right now, me doing this. So, yay. Anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Al, and yeah, till next time.